Hello. Welcome back to my training room. This is Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. The date is June 12, 2020. Week number 15 of the coronavirus, social distancing, staying in the home and all that good stuff. Today, we're going to do some exercises that you can do uh, just on your knees. We don't even have to stand up. We don't have to uh, uh, get our back. We don't have to jump around. Yay. But don't worry. If you do these exercises as others similar to it, just on your knee, you can work up a good sweat and still get fit while staying on your knee the whole time. You will need a yoga mat or some kind of padding for your knee uh, just so you don't get carpet burned or uh, mess up your knee on hard floor. Of course, if you have had a knee replacement or if you have knee problem, please consult your doctor before you attempt these exercises. Uh, actually, I think if you have a knee replacement, you just shouldn't do these uh, at all. Uh, just want to get that out there. Anyway, <laughs> um, so you can do this with dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, there are a lot of ways to make homemade exercise weight. Uh, just look back in the how to improvise uh, exercise equipment at home. And just for that, just to show that, I'm going to use ah, this bucket here. Just an ordinary square bucket from a box of kitty litter. And I filled it with water and dirt. A nice handle on it. Beautiful. Now, of course, there are things that you can do on your knees that goes without saying, like bicep and tricep. But if I just show you those, some of you are going to complain and say, well, yeah, we already know you can do those. What do you mean seven exercises you can do on your knee? If you count those, we can come up with 30 or 40 exercises that you can do on your knee. And you would be right. So today, I want to show you the, some of the ones that you might not have thought of that you can do on your knee. So we're going to bypass the bicep curl, the tricep extension, and those obvious ones. Exercise number one. This is what I call the bow and pray. And I don't mean bowing just like bobbing down a little bit like that. We're going to bow Buddhist style, kowtow. We're on our knee, kneeling upright. We are going to bend forward at the waist until we get our elbow to the ground. And from this position, we are going to get back to the upright position. Down and up. I'm not pushing with my hand to get back up. I'm using my core and my back muscle. You want to do it nice and slow. Don't do it fast. If you jerk and kick, if you do the turn of a jerky motion, you might wrench your back out. Okay? Nice, slow down, and nice, slow up. Bow and pray. Down and up. Down and up. That's number one. Number two. The side to side weave. 
again, we're in an upright position. We're going to open our arms out so we are a T, straight out to the side like this. And then we are going to tilt at the waist until my right fingertips touch the ground. And then tilt the other way. Left fingertip touch the ground. Other way. Right side. Left side. Right side. Left side. Keeping my hands and my arms out to the side the whole way. I'm not dropping them down to touch like this, right? That would be too easy. Okay? The whole point is to work the side, the obliques, the hips. So we keep our arms stiff and straight out to the side and right side, left side, right side. Number three, grab your dumbbell, or in my case, the bucket. This is called forward and reach. From our knee, we bring the bucket or the weight up to our chest, and then we bend forward and reach and back. And back, reach and back, reach and back. You will notice that this will engage your core and your entire stabilizing system. Number four, twist and punch. I'm going to take this weight in my right hand and I'm going to slowly punch across my body while my left elbow go back now we come back right elbow go back left hand punching across right hand across left elbow back right elbow back left hand across so you just like throwing a regular punch just with a very exaggerated motion with the elbow going back and the hand coming across. Number five, push up on your knee. Now some, some people, I can already hear some people say, ah, oh, that's for girls. What's this push up on our knees thing? Well, if you do it right, this can be very taxing. Let me show you how it's done right. A lot of people, when they hear push up on your knee, they have their knee directly underneath their body. So when they do the push up, it's just their upper body bobbing up and down, up and down like this. Okay, that's not the proper way of doing push-up on your knee. If you want to do a real challenging push-up on your knee, lay down on your belly. Bring your heel toward your behind and keep them here. Keep them nice and tight. Keep your knees bent. Keep your core tight. Keep your hip straight. So when I come up in this position, my knees are not underneath my body. My knees are back behind my lower body. And the trick of doing this is to do it fast. So you are not going to do up, down, up, down, up. Now obviously if you're a beginner, this might be okay, but if you want some high intensity stuff, then you want to do short, quick pulses like this. Now 
Okay. Once you get really comfortable with it, you can even try to do it with one hand. One hand push up on your knee. <laughs> Number six. Stay with me. We're almost done. Number six, the praying mantis. Starting up on our knee, kneeling upright. We hold our hand up in front of our chest. However you want to hold them, as long as they're out of the way and help you your balance. We're going to rock back until we are on our feet. And then we come forward on our knee. Rock back on our feet. Come forward on our knee. Back, forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. It's all in your hip. Let me turn the other way so you can see the side profile. Kneeling, kneeling upright, hands up, we go back and forward, back on our feet, forward on our knee, on our feet, on our knee, on our feet, on our knee. Exercise number seven, the ratchet hop. It's like the wretched squat, just minus the squatting part. So, we are going to be on our knee, and then we are going to hop up, and then turn to the side. Hop up, turn back. Hop up, turn to the side. Hop up, turn back. Hop up, turn to the side. Hop up, turn back. Now you know why I said you need the, uh, the mat. A yoga mat. You definitely don't want to do that on carpet or hard floor. Whew. Thank you for checking out today's Fitness Friday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Survival Saturday. For now, stay safe, stay strong. Have a good night.